I'll spice with you because I don't think I have a celebrity crush. Are you okay? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are gonna do something really fun. It's kind of like truth or dare. There's a challenge going around YouTube called truth or drink, but we don't drink. There's another challenge I saw Smokey Glow do where she and her fiance did truth or spice. If you do not want to answer the question, you have to take slice. We just had sushi, so we saved the wasabi, fresh wasabi. wasabi yeah. It is so extra horseradishy mm. spicy. And then also, but cousin Josh and I have this thing in common where we call our cousins cousin, like cousin and the first name. We both think it's weird, but our families do it. So anyway, cousin Josh gave us this ghost pepper. Tabasco sauce. What's fun about this is Adam, his metabolism is so fast and he's so lean that we both love spice. It does not get hot enough for us, but Adam will drip like he was just in a rainstorm when he eats hot because his metabolism is already so fast that I think something in the pepper speeds it up more. The only other issue I foresee <laughs> is that we're such open books, I don't think we're not going to want to answer questions. So it might not get that spicy in here. And we're both masochists, so we don't mind torturing ourselves. I, I know, we're bit. sick in the head. Anyway, I posted on Instagram and I posted on YouTube and you guys sent in the best questions, so. Well, you've seen the questions? Yeah, but I didn't really pay that much attention. I copied and pasted them. Before we get started, you guys, make sure you give us a thumbs up for doing this. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed because why would you want to miss this? You ready? No. Let's stop stalling and start going. We'll start with the easy ones. First impressions of each other at the first visit after 10 years. See, I, I had no heads up on this, so I'm recalling walking into the visiting room. Yeah, just wow. You know, the thing was that we had already had really spent the time with the emails back and forth and, and spoken so much. I don't know, I already, uh, like at that point, seeing you was just like, that was the bonus. You were beautiful and I was already in love. Me too. My first impression was, I remember at one point I was holding a bottle of water that we got out of the vending machine and I kicked back my head to laugh. And I just remember thinking, this was so natural. It's literally like the best first date that I've ever been on. And then my second first impression makes no sense. But the next thing that I remember that really stands out to me was I went into the bathroom after I came back out and you just looked up at me because you were sitting at the table and you smiled your big smile. My friend that I was with also said this afterwards. We both thought this at separate times, but you're one of the very few people where your smile literally can light up the room, not just your whole face. And I just remembered, I was like, oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. I'm smitten. That was easy. Why would we spice for that one? Okay, what pet peeve have you discovered or any real bad habits or annoyances yet since we've been living together? And you could spice if you need to. First, let me just preface it by saying, if I have to think this hard about it, there's obviously, there's not much there. Honestly, I would have to make something up. Just because of all the, the, the important things, I mean, we are on the same page with everything. Annoyances, there's nothing. There's nothing that annoys me. Who is your celebrity crush? That's a good one. Oof. I have to think uh, about that too. I don't even know. So, uh, if you don't know, you have to spice. You want to spice? Listen, I'm going to spice just because the spice is on the table. <laughs> I don't want to think about that one any longer. How much should I? Go for it. Woof! That is a wasabi chunk. <laughs> I'll spice with you because I don't think I have a celebrity crush. Are you okay? <laughs> that was too much. You're scaring me, are you okay? Okay, I'm not gonna do that much. Wow. Maybe we shouldn't play this game, I just got you home. <coughs> this is really spicy, you guys. See, it's great with sushi to cut it. <coughs> You're right, without the sushi, my throat's burning, but I didn't take nearly as much as you. What's the biggest lie you ever told each other? Oh, I know that right off the top of my head. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Biggest lie I ever told you. Okay, so what is it? You go first. I don't know. 
I, I, you gotta give me a minute to think about Okay, this. the biggest lie I ever told you is when I told you I wanted you to go to Wisconsin, but I really didn't. Oh, yeah, there was a story was... behind that, and I'll post it in the cards. I think it was called something like, I loved him enough to let him go. We almost broke up at that point. And I don't know how many people I've told this, and it's always something that I've been very proud of, was that I never lied to you. And I mean that, I've never lied to you about anything, anything. And let me preface that by saying that the reason why that's so significant to me personally is because, man, I had no scruples previously, you know, especially like relationships and just, I lied for no apparent reason. Like I was just a habitual, like about nothing. For us, when we started our relationship, as we were communicating, getting deeper, you know, there was just a, a depth to the conversations of, of us going back and forth and, and the exchange of questions. I decided early on that I have no reason to hide anything from you and I want to make it a point. I wanted things to be different. I wanted you to know everything and I didn't want to have to lie ever. So that's just, that's always been my position. I, I mean, even to the point where complete transparency, putting everything through you, you're a part of all of my relationships. Of course, and likewise, and I think that we worked really hard on that, but I don't think we had to work really hard on that because I think it's our personalities and neither of us are anymore. I was like this in the past and you said you were too, but neither of us are jumpy or jump to conclusions. What's, what about, is that the phrase I'm looking for? I don't think jumping was the word you were looking for. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say though? We're, we don't make assumptions about one another. We don't, yeah. We're not jealous. It's, we just fit in each other's lives. Everything's open. There's no it's need to lie. We you need know. to get more to the juice and less to the cheese. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> What's one thing that I do that I think I'm great at, but I'm actually terrible at? <laughs> I know that answer for my sister, but I don't know the answer for you. You're not terrible at anything. I guess I have to heat. You have to heat. I have to spice because you're, you're not bad at anything, ass. <laughs> What's one thing I think I'm bad at? I think I'm good at, but I'm bad at. One thing you think that you're good at? Yeah, but I'm not. At? Yeah, that's the question. From my perspective? Yeah. One thing that you think you're good at. But I actually suck. <laughs> go, go, what is it? But I don't think that you actually think that you're good at it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to spice just because you know why you're walking for the rest of your life? You're walking yourself to the DMV to get your road test. <laughs> He does not like my driving. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Come here guys. But, but as she likes to say, somehow we made it all the way across the country with just her behind the wheel and she did a great job. She got us here. But there Way are, to there that are one. times where thank God there's a co-pilot. I, right? I admit it, like tonight I just got off the wrong exit for no reason and I was like, oh man, I was doing so much better. <laughs> I haven't done that in a really long time. You were great. I, I, I thought you knew where we were you going. You were great about it. I think yeah. I'd pack snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning we get hungry. Uh, <gasps> what? If you had to pick one of my friends to date, who would it be? Do I have to choose one? You could choose one or you could spice. I'm gonna spice. Yeah. It's not that I don't want to tell you. It's that I just don't want to pick. I'm happy with you and... I'm not thinking about dating anybody else. I agree. I think it, it was a cute question whoever posted it, but I, I can't even, like, my mind doesn't even go there. Why do you do so much? Oh my god. Because that's the point of it, right? It is, but maybe we should ghost pepper instead of wasabi. I think we should ghost pepper. Oh, you're making me nervous. Let's ghost pepper. I really like the wasabi. Though. I like it a lot too, but I'm afraid you're gonna die. Who put the cap on this? Not me. Probably me. I think I'm the only one that's used it. One tablespoon? No! One drop! One drop. And then the second time is two drops, and the third time is three drops, and... Relax, relax. It's coming in. It's coming. Okay. That's it. That's enough. Oh, it's such a different flavor from that. Oh, it's spicy. to this and not the wasabi please because you're making me nervous with that. Okay. Um, just, 
I can breathe. <laughs> my nose. Describe a time I embarrassed you and you had to apologize for my behavior. The time you embarrassed me. What are we talking? This would like have to be like a visit or something? It would have to be ever. And I had to apologize for you? Yeah. <sighs> That's, mm. That pepper is hot. I can't think of a time you embarrassed me. I, the, the only people that embarrass me are probably my parents. On purpose? Yeah, like out of fun. Okay. Good thing you answered that, but not the right way, so pepper it up. You know, I mean, parents, that's what they do. They try to embarrass their kids. I'm sorry, right. it tastes weird because you just have wasabi. But it's still very spicy. I'm gonna have to take off my shirt in a minute. Really? <laughs> that's what this game's turning into? Huh? <laughs> Spin Tabasco bottle. <laughs> that's not enough. Oh, please, why are you trying to kill yourself? I'm already, I'm still. That's not even that much. It's plenty. It's plenty. It. All right, what's that's our favorite? That's very different. Yeah. All right? What's our favorite memory of each other? Favorite memory? Oh, you're gonna have to go first. My favorite memory of you? It snuck up on me. Oh my god, I have so many good memories of you. Can I do a certain like time frame instead of one specific? I'm sure. Like, I feel like for some reason, all of our Allenwood visits are so special to me. All of our visits are special to me, but something about that time and like getting to learn each other again. And I would literally get your emails to my inbox and get butterflies in my stomach. I know I feel the same way. Mm. So, do I have one favorite memory? No, because every day is like a new fun adventure and more memories, but I think that's my favorite time for you. You wanna know what's crazy? <sighs> Yeah. If I can get past this. It's hard, I know. Wow, my tongue is like swelling, expanding. It's hot. The that things we do for you too. It was really hot. Yeah. And we're doing this without any food. There's no food or dirt. That's Whose stress. idea was this? I think I like the wasabi better. Nobody, you're turning right in camp breathe and it's scaring me. My tongue is about to fall off. Who? I want to answer the question I can't right now. Oh, I never answered. If you ever embarrassed me. You didn't. The Go answer ahead. is no. Really? I don't think never? Ever, I don't think so. Well, the good news is, even if I did, you don't remember it right now, so. Good point, you're sweating. I am at my sweating. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a problem. You don't do anything halfway. That is the problem. We will sit here until our tongues fall out of our mouth. We're butt-ass naked, dripping sweat, <laughs> and we won't stop until we get through the bottle of Tabasco. I'm sweating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hot. Oh, wow. And it wasn't that much. My tongue. What was the question? What's your favorite memory of me? Favorite memory? It's funny that you said, going back to Allenwood, because it was the first thing that popped into my mind. It was that time when we both got up at the same time. And we were going to the bathroom and the way that it normally worked, you could get up and, and go to the bathroom anytime you wanted. But for me, I had to go over to the corner, I had to stand, I had to motion to the officer, hey, can you please come unlock this door, let me in, stand there, watch me use the bathroom and then come back out. So it's always a whole process ordeal. But we had gotten into the habit of, you know, going at the same time. I was like, all right, you're gonna go, I'm gonna go, and... Because we didn't want to waste any time apart from each other. Exactly. One was going to the bathroom, we were both getting it over with. So we get up at the same time together, and it just came so natural that as we stood up, leaned in, gave her a kiss, and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> and just tried to play it off and walk away. It didn't work like that. I looked over and I seen the officers up at the officer station just looking at me. I'm standing there on the wall, now I gotta wait for him to come over and unlock the bathroom. Officer comes over to me and he says, uh, so you, your visit's over for today? I'm like, no, just I need to use the restroom. He said, well then, what was that kiss that you just gave the young lady who was across from you? I said, I, I apologize. I apologize. I said, you know, it just, it slipped. And he looked at me like, it slipped? <laughs> he said, if it slips again, you're out of here, it's over. 
We're actually very lucky that we didn't get kicked out for that because... Kicked out for a kiss. Think about that. A pop kiss. Like, Think about that. It's sad, but it's, but we're honestly lucky because if they want to be jerks, they could. Uh, you need to get close to the camera so everyone can see how bad you're sweating. I that was so sweating. Bad. Okay, let's rapid fire through some of these. No, okay? this was like, this. you said this was going to happen. You told them this was going to happen. <laughs> no, but that now I would that it's be happen sitting over <laughs> here sweating. <laughs> now that it's happening, I feel guilty. It's happening. That's right. It's happening. Don't get surprised now. <laughs> All right, let's rapid fire through some of these so we can get through them. If it were between you going back for three years or me doing eight months Ooh. and our lives depended on it, who's going to do the time? Me. Adam, do you take the time for your girl and go back? Or Ro, do you eat the eight months and keep your man out? Me. All day. You? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do well in situations where I feel like I'm being manipulated. Like, I will never go buy a car at home because that is a situation where I shut down. And I know that's prison all day long. And I'm sorry. No, to me all day. You know, I mean, I would never, ever let you take on something like that. And we're not just talking about prison. I mean, if it's anything. Yeah. What's one main thing that's different living together in reality versus living together in your mind? Oh, I already know my answer like this. What is the main difference? Yeah. I could say it in two words. What? It's better. Yeah. I like that. That's a great answer. What were you going to say? I'm trying to think of... You know, like I think I'm always like more of logical, practical, pragmatic. I'm, I'm Pollyanna. Ha <laughs> ha No, I, I'm the one that gets accused of being a Pollyanna. But I always think very logically, practically. I'm like, so what's different? What's different from what I actually had in my mind? How I envisioned all of this? So I'm playing through like our whole routine and literally what I've envisioned. The catch is... Like, well, we didn't know where we were coming. We didn't know the place that we were going to have. So I'm trying to think of how it all fits together. And I, I like your answer. It's just, it's, it's just better. better. It's just, it's happening. It's like everything you always dreamed of and wanted is right there in front of you now. It's crazy. And like laying in, we have the best bed oh, ever. Oh, the best bed. Ever. And laying in bed like we were last night, just this is what I dreamed of. Sometimes I still pinch myself, like it's actually, is this real? Are you sure they're not going to take it away from us? Okay, so this one for both of us. When Adam was finally out, did you want to go straight to a hotel and go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> did we want to? I mean, I did we? No. Were you nervous the first time? I feel like there would be so much pressure. Hold on. Go back to the hotel thing. Okay. I mean, we didn't necessarily go to the hotel, but that's because we had, we had a place to stay. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean... Yeah, you're right. Were you nervous the first time? This person feels like there would be so much pressure. Pressure. I say it like New York on purpose. Um, was I nervous the first time? Uh, yes and no. Kind of a strange dichotomy there. Part of me, yes, obviously, I mean, we've been together all these years, but haven't been intimate, so like... It's something different, but at the same time, like it just, it was just a natural extension of what we had already had together. So I didn't, I wasn't like concerned that there was ever going to be, I don't know, any incompatible, like what? Like, yeah. Yeah. I was more nervous before than when it was actually happening. Like the whole drive after I picked you up and like when we were, like, I was just like nervous because I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> And then I remember, yeah. I don't know how much, I could edit this, I don't know how much detail I should go into, but like, I remember I was getting changed and you were in the bathroom and I was like shy and like trying to get changed really fast. And then, oh. and, and then whatever happened, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't nervous during, it felt so natural and just everything was perfect, which I thought I'd be nervous during, but I was nervous for the up, but that's anxiety. That's what anxiety actually is, is just tripping about something in the future that you've that hasn't yet happened yet. Good point. Well put. For Ro, did you ever flirt with guys when Adam was out? For Adam, did you ever hook up with a female CEO or a female while incarcerated? Oh. It's a great question. It is a great question because it doesn't specify. You see what I'm what? saying? I'm sure I probably flirted with people. I mean, I don't take that as disrespect towards Adam. I, I could flirt with like a 95 year old man. <laughs> well, some people misconstrue being friendly for flirting too. In the whole scheme of things, I. Like, cares right you know, I agree minor things it's funny that that question comes up because even I mean prior to us 
or at any point after we were together, you know, 20 years in prison, that's a long time. And never once at any time during that did I ever hook up or even like, did I think that there was a situation that was there that I was like, ah, I'm not going to pursue that. I just never put myself in that situation. And to be honest, to the opposite extreme, kind of the position that I was in, there was so much attention on me with women, with men, with staff, anyone in general, my relationships, like there was very clear lines. It always had to be that way, like to, to an extreme because of that. You know, people are just always looking to, to have something negative on me. So, yeah, not even close. I used to get asked all the time by people, has Adam ever hooked up with a CO for you, this and that? And honestly, my question was, I have no idea. And really, I don't care because it's not my business, really. If you think about it, what you did before me, uh -oh. how is that my business? No, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Before, just to clarify. Okay, so this is kind of along the same lines. Did you ever get jealous that I was not being truthful about being loyal? And then for me, did you ever get jealous of female CEOs? Ooh, that's actually good. I want to say early on, yeah, I mean, I was very attuned to how I was feeling about, you know, like if you were going out, which I encouraged you to do. Yeah. You know, I wanted you to live your life. And part of me was kind of resigned back then to the fact that I cared so much about you that I didn't want you to have your life completely on hold. So I wanted you to go out. And if at any point you found someone else that made you more happy or felt like you were missing something, then like I, I couldn't be upset about that because there were certain things that I wasn't able to, to be there or to do or to give you. So that's kind of how I like reconciled it in my mind and even those times where I started to feel like my getting jealous of you going out or being around someone, I just had to remind myself, that's not who I want to be. I'm not going to be that jealous guy. Like I've been that in the past and it just, that wasn't going to be it. And on top of it, I'm like, wait a minute, stupid. Like she's driving all these hours each way to come see you. You know, that comes back to my favorite thing from Stephen Covey. Love is a verb. If you ever want to see love in action with the way a mother sacrifices for a child or the way a prison wife sacrifices for her man who's in prison. Unbelievable sacrifice. Like, how do you get jealous after that? You know what I mean? So the guys that do get jealous, I mean, uh, I used to tell them all the time, like, yo, like, what? She's coming up here to see you all the time. Like, what are you thinking, man? Relax. She's not making this trip for no reason. So, yeah. Did I ever get jealous of female CEOs? No. And I can say no. that. I'm just kidding. Right? I can say, but, but, but let me finish because I think I know where you were going with that. There were some really beautiful, friendly female officers where you were. However, the times in my life where I've been jealous was one, if the person I was in a relationship with gave me reason to be jealous, which happened majority of my past. Adam's never given me a reason to be jealous. Two is when I'm really insecure within myself. I am so secure in our relationship that I never once saw even a gorgeous, beautiful woman who was a cop there and I thought that she would have more to offer you than I had to offer you, if that makes sense. I trust in what we have between us and if I ever feel myself getting jealous, it's because there's something going on within me. And I had a lot of girlfriends who were so jealous of female cops and I would have to kind of talk them down. Be like, what are you, but what is it? What are you jealous of? And it would always come down to something within themselves or something that their loved one was putting out there that kind of gave them the right to be jealous, if that makes sense. But in our relationship, no, I've never been jealous of anything like that. Okay. What was the most embarrassing thing that happened to you during the part of your relationship while you were inside? What was the what? What was the most embarrassing thing that happened during the part of our relationship where you were in prison? I'm embarrassed on a daily basis. I'm an accident waiting to happen. As described by me knocking over your Starbucks at the grocery store tonight. Tell us the most embarrassing moment in the bedroom. Oh, do we have to spice because we can't think of anything? There's something embarrassing? Sure. 
Oh my god, am I gonna get ready? I don't know, are you? I don't know what you say. What about waking up the uh <laughs> I will say the only apprehension <laughs> early on. I mean we're newlyweds, right? You know? And Do they watch these? I hope not. Okay. But worrying about other people possibly hearing us. That might be the only embarrassing. My face is more red right now than when you ate the big chunk of wasabi. That headboard was so damn loud. That's it, enough. Are you done? Uh, yes. Okay. Did I embarrass you? Yes. Okay, good. Do you miss your ex or things about him or her that your partner doesn't have now? Oh. Whenever I talk about an ex, there's really only one person I'm really referring to. I guess that I ever had any mm -hmm. sort of ongoing. And that goes all the way back to like when I was in high school, when I was younger, and when I was in prison the first time. To be honest, I mean, I learned a great deal from that relationship because I was just so bad. I mean, I was terrible to her. You know, we were young, we were kids, and a lot of youth is filled with regret, but I deeply regret the way that I treated her. Mm -hmm. And that has really informed our relationship for me to make sure that I never ever did any of those things like I, I look back and I just I feel terrible I'm like embarrassed at many of the things that I did so is there anything that I miss no because this ex in particular and I want to say all of my previous relationships weren't necessarily healthy anytime I was in a relationship it wasn't healthy so there's nothing that I missed there and it's not until we were in this relationship together that I fully appreciated how things could be. Yeah. And it's because of that. That's why I regret so much of the past and it's why I'm so grateful for the present. So yeah, there's nothing that I miss. I'm the same, absolutely not. And similarly, I feel like our relationship has taught me everything that that relationship, because I'm, I'm going based off of one specific one too, was lacking. There is no comparison, not even close, to what I thought was a good relationship versus what actually is. So no, I don't miss him for a second. What's the moment that you knew our relationship was going to last? Like, what? when did we know that this was the real deal? I think that's how I'm interpreting that. Okay. You know what it was? What was it? <clears throat> when you sent me the pictures. Which pictures? Rosie the Riveter pictures. <laughs> Strong enough to wait forever. You remember? You know which ones I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. There was, there was just something about that. It was like shocking. And I showed it to other people and they were like, what? She's weird. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> wow. Just blew my mind, yeah. I think this is turning into truth, but that's okay. These are fun to answer. So I think the moment for me was the whole Wisconsin debacle. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'll just leave the other video there because this is getting long. Did you have any other prison pen pals? Did I? Yeah. Before? Us? I don't know, it's not specified. Do you want to tell our favorite story That's about funny. how you found my pen pal? Here's what happened, in a nutshell, right? In the past, long before we got together, I had been on a number of dis different prison pen pal websites. Back then, you know, the internet was very, very different. There weren't dating sites. Anytime you went just looking to meet somebody, people would stumble across prison pen pal websites. And it was like a novelty. So you get mail from, you never knew what was coming. Throughout all of this, I met a lot of different people and there were some good people that, you know, I wound up keeping in touch with. As the years go on, you know, you kind of forget about some of these things. One of the guys that I was with decides he's gonna do photos, he's gonna hook us up, he's gonna create these calendars, he's gonna put our pictures up on this prison pen pal site. So I take these pictures and I don't think anything else about them. You know, I tell them, yeah, yeah, go ahead, do what you're gonna do, you're gonna hook me up with something cool, you know. At that point, I didn't even care. Fast forward, I don't know how many years down the road, because this is years earlier that I did this. I never get a single letter, I get nothing from this <laughs> pen pal page, right? <laughs> nothing. And one day, I get an email or... Not or one call. day, it's... Two hours before New Year's, it's New Year's Eve, like two hours before the ball's dropping and everyone's supposed to be laughing and having a great time. How, and how did you find, I don't because know. Because I, excuse me? It was crazy. I was crazy? It, 
It, it. was crazy. Your response was crazy. <laughs> I love truth or spice. It's all coming out. What do you mean? <laughs> you freaked. You were like, what are you doing on this pen pal page? And I'm like, what the hell? What are you Yeah, that's exactly about? what happened. I'm like, what are you talking wait about? Wait a minute. Let me wait. Whoa. You can't block Whoa. the camera. <laughs> Believe me, and I've told this story a thousand times. I wrote very extensively about this in the comeback code, okay. by the way. However, I worked tirelessly to get the good parts of what Adam had online above all of the crap on Google that was lies about him, basically, that kind of had him as the ringleader and this and that tirelessly. And it's really tricky, but I know how to do it. It just takes a long, long time. Mm -hmm. So every once in a while, I would just like stop and I would think, oh, Google his name and see where I am in the results and what I have to do and et cetera. So for some reason, <laughs> right before I'm getting ready to hop in the shower to get ready for a New Year's Eve party, I'm like, oh, let me just do this really quick. This mind you, you New Year's mind Eve? you, this is five You're days Googling after me. I find out my mom has cancer, okay? So it was not in a good frame of mind. And I Google it and I pops this gorgeous picture of you. You had a cross on and your foot was on a basketball. That's all I remember, you had no I, shirt on. I remember it. I look like I'm 12 years old. Don't see that, I just said you're gorgeous. Now I look crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you looked like a good 18. 18, yeah. Okay. I, okay, I was legal. I looked legal, but I looked young. It was- We were young. It was clearly years before. Jail jelly, my friend. <laughs> okay? So, some years earlier. This whole three sentence god awful pen pal ad was like, I'm looking for a male or a female. Blah, 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 blah. It was so stupid. And I, it like in a, a moment, a split second, I like, I saw red, right? But I had this split second moment of clarity that was like, he doesn't even write like that. He's very talented when it comes to writing. And it just sounded bad and then it was like a split second and I was like no and I said to you and I'm like what is this you better call me <laughs> and the email when I got it sounded just like that <laughs> like Cruella de Bell <laughs> it did I was like what the, what happened wait stop right here so literally to the T I think it takes two hours to get an email two hours later my phone rings and I was waiting for it I was like Ring. Uh, right? I pick up the phone and I hear. <laughs> <laughs> what is the worst thing you could do? <laughs> Laugh. Yeah. And I was like, why are you laughing? <laughs> Two questions ago, I just said, I'm not jealous or crazy. <laughs> Afterwards, you're like, yeah, the guys told me that was pretty bad. <laughs> Sometimes I wish you had like. <laughs> your five best friends living in the spare room because anytime something like that happened you'd go back and be like I told the guys and they were like yeah she's right yeah anyway I thought you were gonna talk about the white chocolate oh yeah keep going no I don't know it was attached to a MySpace page and and that should have been a red flag too because this had to be like what 2016 or something at this point no 2012 I don't know but it was way past MySpace and <laughs> this one hurts. Wow, he's fine, F-Y-N-E. He's my piece of white, W-H-Y-T-E, chocolate. So for years I called you my white chocolate. Did I have any other prison pen pals? Do we want to know that? <laughs> I mean, now would be the time to reveal that, right? I think I should spice, I don't want to say it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of had prison pen pals, but that's because they were all your friends that I would keep you should, can I say that? That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. And then like I yeah. developed really, like a sisterly okay. bond like with Daryl. Like we would oh, email yeah. back and forth, but half the time I would accidentally send those emails to Adam. It's not like I was hiding anything. I didn't have any other prison pen pals outside of Adam or like anyone in relation to you. Did you have phone sex either with each other or for Adam before Row? Or for Adam before? Did did we have phone sex together or for you, did you have phone sex before we were in a relationship with other neither. people? No. Yeah, no, me neither. Ugh. No, not us to people that have it. It's just not my thing. I get shy. Hmm. Have you ever sent photos that were too naughty, they had to be destroyed or rejected? What did I send one time that I got really embarrassed about getting rejected? 
But it wasn't did, photos. Did it get rejected? Yeah. Really? What got rejected? I don't know. Oh, I know. It wasn't. I wasn't embarrassed. I was like fake mad. I bought you a seven dollar Proprius. How do you say that? Proprius. Proprius. You know those expensive cards. And it had a little piece Papyrus. of. Papyrus. You say peppers? Papyrus. Papyrus. <laughs> Name of the brand up there, but the expensive cards. You can get them at Target now, but it's like seven dollars for one little card. And it was really cute, and it had this little cellophane, and in there had hearts that were like confetti, and they rejected that. And I remember you called me, and they're, you're like, it's rejected, but it's okay. And I'm like, no, it's not. And you were like, no. And I could always tell in the tone of your voice, like, okay, bro, it's not funny. Like, don't play. Because I play and I joke around. You were like, no, we're fine with it, because you were still in Allenwood, and I think you were like, don't make it seem like you sent something that shouldn't have been sent. What else you got? Is there anything you miss about prison or your prison relationship? Ooh. Wow. No. There's nothing as far as our relationship that I miss because everything is better. Yeah. Is there anything about prison that I miss? You know what the only thing I was just considering? What? Was as far as the wood shop. Because mm. I spent the last, you know, year or so working down there in a carpentry shop and I had to really think about do I miss any of that? No, I don't. And I said that. You know, I told them guys down there, I said, when I leave, when I leave this shop, like that'll be it. I've enjoyed the time that I spent in there doing what I did. I'm grateful that I was able to, to make things for you, for my parents. Yeah. That's, that's not my calling. But I can see how much you enjoy it just like when he was building <clears> these <throat> shelves. The care that he puts into it is like above and beyond what somebody just putting together a shelf like a normal, a normal person. <laughs> that doesn't have that. But also he took the time to explain like what the drill was doing and how you twerk. Twerk? No. Twerk? There was no twerking going on while we were building the shelves. Just Let's just get that straight. <laughs> how you twerk? It wasn't that kind the drill. of quality. Forget it. It was fun. Okay, so these are gonna be rapid fire ones and I love these. I don't remember who posted them, but Shoot. she gave us good ones. Have you ever been to a strip club? I've, does that need to be answered? Yes, I've had designated tables at the strip club. Well, my ex-boyfriend should have owned designated tables at the strip club too, so yes, I've been to male and female strip clubs. That's embarrassing. Which animal comes to your mind when you think of me? <laughs> what? I know. Okay, what? Which animal? Yeah. Wow. Foxy lady. I can't give you the answers. The, the easy answer would be like some sort of cat, you know, like lithe and strong and graceful. That's funny because I was thinking of cheetah for you for the same reasons. Really? Not grace. Not that you're not graceful, but like strong and fast and smart. I like that. So we're a couple of cats, and we're not really cat people. So. We're cool cats and kittens. Let's What's the reference? You wouldn't know. I don't know. It's from uh, the Tiger King. Were you ever part of the Mile High Club? No. No, but I was approached to be on my way back from Vegas last time I was here. Remember I told you a story? Damn. Yeah. And I laughed my ass off about it. I made a whole video telling the story. I'll post the link to it there. At what age did you have your first kiss and with whom? Oof. Yeah, I was like kissing little girls when I was way too young. <clears throat> I honestly don't remember. What about you? I, well, like a kiss like that, but it was still like my first kiss to a boy. I think I was in sixth grade and we were in the woods. In the woods? In the woods. Yeah, we were walking. Like we used to have to, we, we would walk everywhere and there were always trails through the woods because I grew up in the woods of New Jersey. And we were walking through the woods home and it was like four of us best friends walking, me and my best friend and then these two guys that were best friends. And he had a crush on me for years and we kissed in the woods like, for a second. What is a bad habit you have? Oh. Do you know what yours is? Uh, I have a few bad habits. Sure. I interrupt like an Italian. It's so embarrassing. Uh, I'm on my phone way, way, way too much. Mm. I curse a lot more than I should. Mm. That's one that's kind of like snuck back up on me. Probably because of me. That's something I need to completely eliminate again. I can be bossy sometimes. I was joking because it was National Bosses Day and I was like, I should have bought you a present. <laughs> Not bossy, only sometimes. Only sometimes. And the other thing is pushing too hard. Do you pee in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> These are so funny. 
Do you pee in the shower? No, not in our shower. I don't pee in our shower. Have I peed in the shower? I, I mean, I could spice, but yes, I've peed in the shower before, but not our shower. Okay. Yeah, I, I concur. Have you ever sex? Do you know what sex means? First of all, sexted. Yeah. It's like home sex through text. Yeah. That's texted. No. Me neither. Listen, I'm still barely. I'm still working on the text. We've never even sexed emailed. No. I don't think even now that you have one that we've sexed. No, for why? For what? Exactly. Well, we're always together. Would I text yeah. you from the other room? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever cheated on someone? I tried to cheat, and it wasn't even cheating because we were on again, off again, and we were probably on a break at this point. I don't know, but. I tried once in my life and it backfired on me because that's me. So I'm leaving the bar with the bartender that I was hanging out with at that point and we're walking down the street and it was the bartender, myself, and my good friend and up the street is walking the other guy. And I'm like, who cares? I'm gonna play it off. Like he's acted like he doesn't know me before. When we were together in a club, when he's talking to another girl, I can act like I don't know him. And so I'm just playing it off and the guys walk up to each other and they're like, hey man, it's been a while, I haven't seen you. And I'm like, oh, my luck, of course, I just would never be good at cheating. <laughs> I just wouldn't. Have you two ever skinny dipped in a public pool? Us together? I don't know. Well, we never have together. There's mm. the answer. Have you ever skinny dipped? Oh, countless times. Really? Sure. I skinny dipped in the ocean, but I don't... In the ocean too? And I skinny dipped in like a private pool. But I've never, I don't think skinny dipped in a public pool, I don't think. Oh yeah, all the above. Yeah? Sure. Who's the bigger caregiver between you two? You are. You think? Yeah. I think we're kind of even. No. No? No. Why do you say that? Just when I, when I think about the, the term caregiver, I mean, I know what you've done for your family for, I don't know how many years, both your parents and you have been the caregiver, the caregiver in your family. Like you look out for people, that's what you do. And as much as like, I believe in servanthood and helping others, not quite the same. I hear what you're saying, but you're pretty good yourself. Like, you're better. I don't know if I'm better. I think we're pretty even. Yes, I had the opportunity to stay here with my mom, but if you had that opportunity, I'm sure you'd do the exact same thing. I would now. Yeah. yeah. So. It's just the opportunity didn't present itself for you, but like there'll be nights, almost every night we're finishing dinner and he's like, don't touch anything, go take a shower, I got this. Like you're not lifting a finger, it's a tie. All right, I think we probably took up way too much of your time. This was so fun. I had a feeling as we were answering the questions there was gonna not be so much spice because again, we're open books and we'll answer anything, almost anything. You still got me to sweat. I did get you to sweat, but that just happens when you Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll put those other videos that I talked about on the screen right now. We love you guys. Love you guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.